What's going on, brothers and sisters in Christ? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the word of the Lord. Blessed be the coming of the Lord. Just want to get on here and encourage y'all real quick. You know, as I'm on my way home, uh, and start this weekend off. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy my weekend. I pray that everybody's uh, being safe this weekend, and most importantly, getting closer to the Lord. So, I just want to encourage y'all to stand on the word of God and, and just remember: if you truly walk with the Lord, like there's nothing that can touch you. First um, John four and four says, "Ye are of God, little children." and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So I understand that means that the Jesus Christ in us is greater than any kind of demonic activity, demonic presences, or anything that can try to come against you. The word of God says that. The Bible says, let God be true in every man alive as it is written. So there's nothing in this world that's going to um, be able to touch you without God allowing you. God has to allow certain things to happen. Um, if, if, we, if we go through a trial, it's because God is trying to take us to the next level. But understand the word says we have, we have overcome them. It doesn't just say him. It doesn't just talk about the devil. It's talking about the devil and all his means, all of his uh, his tricks and his uh, you know anything he may try. Um, Isaiah 54 and 17 says no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So understand that it don't matter what the devil throws at you. God didn't say that the weapons wouldn't form, but He did say they wouldn't prosper. So just trust in the Lord with all your heart. You know what I'm saying? And trust that His word is true. He's a man of His word. He's not a man that He shall lie. So he gonna, uh, he's going to keep you, he's going to maintain you, you know, he's going to protect you until such a time as it's time for us to leave this earth. Um, but that does kind of dispel this whole pre-tribulation rapture theory that everybody keeps putting out there, that um, the lukewarm keep putting out there, because that's what it is. People that don't think they're going to have to go through anything, but Jesus did, and the di disciples that were before us did, and the apostles before us did. So don't think that we're going to escape persecution, because the Bible says we're going to suffer with Christ, we're going to suffer for Christ. So, to live as Christ is to, to die is gain. So, we understand that we're going to go through something. Now, that's not saying everybody's going to go through. Because the Bible says some people are going to be harpazo, which that is the true word. Rapture is, is something that the, the Catholic Church made up. That's not even in the Bible. So, all these people are talking about, we're going to get raptured. That's, that's not even a word. Um, stick, to, stick, stick to biblical uh, principles. Stop making up your own doctrine. You're making up words that you know what you think they mean. So, you know, just, just want to encourage y'all. You know, I love y'all. Jesus loves you. Um, let's just keep fighting the good fight of faith. You know what I'm saying? We we almost there. You know, I see all the signs and things going on. Hope for the hard puzzle, but prepare for persecution because it's coming. It's already here. People are getting persecuted all across the world. In China, people are going to prison for having a Bible. So um, we love y'all. I love y'all. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, hope to see you soon. Glory with me.